you guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i decided to um attack conquer do the little what do they call i don't know what it's called like it's just like a princess crown on your eyes basically um i chose to do gold just because crowns are gold in my brain that's just the way they or the color that they are i did pink yesterday i'm probably gonna do like red tomorrow maybe who knows um, I also did my version of what I consider glitter tears. I know a lot of people do it differently and do like a weird little triangle looking thing. But I mean, whatever. Whatever you like, you do. Um, the brightness is really bright on my camera if I could like hide it. But let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see. Um, I don't know. I like it. I think it's cute. I don't think my crowns are very even, but... I'm not a perfectionist. My videos are not whatsoever about being perfect. It's just about having fun and enjoying, you know, your artistry and what you like to do. And I like to do makeup and I like to play with it and have fun. So if you want to see how I got this look or how I did this crown princess thing, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have already moisturized my skin. I'm going to prime using my Benefits Pore Professional. And just put that on my pores, where my pore, ugh, where I'm more porous, porous, you know, I'm very porous in this area right here. You know, my mom gave me big pores and so I gotta fill them. And I just kind of tap this in because if not, it kind of rubs off. But I'm super moisturized, so it's okay. Um, since I am going to be putting these crazy crowns on my eyelids I'm gonna go for a full coverage foundation and just use my Estee Lauder double wear and my hair gets everywhere that's kind of gross I also mix this with my makeup forever HD stick because this has a lot of coverage I kind of like it kind of don't like it has a lot of coverage but it doesn't wear very well That's blended out. I'm going to get some concealer. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and my Naked Skin um, by Urban Decay. Now I'm just going to set my face with some Airspun translucent setting powder. My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So, I got my full face on, like everything, blush, highlighter, everything. What we're going to attempt today is, um, I'm sure everyone has seen this, it's like a, like a crown, like a princess crown or a queen crown, whatever you want to say, but it's basically on your eyelid. I did it yesterday with pink and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring that real close. Bam. So I did that yesterday, um, but I was like, what am I doing in life? Why is that? Okay. Focus. Focus on me. Anyway, so I was like, why am I doing that? My, if, like, my favorite colors are like golden red. So we're going to do golden red today. So what I learned from this is that, like, you have to be kind of really freaking precise. Like, really precise. It, um... It's kind of tedious and kind of annoying, but the first steps are pretty much like easy. You're just going to get your transition colors and start blending them into your eyes. So the first transition color I'm going to use is of course, uh, of course, peach smoothie. So we just going to pop peach smoothie up into my eyeballs. So once you got peach smoothie on there, we're going to go in with chickadee 
because you guys know that is my transition shade. And since I don't want it to be super like harsh, I feel, I'm just going to use those two shades. I might go in with orange, maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. But um, I've realized that the warmer colors, like oranges and yellows and stuff, they go really well with my skin. And I'm just like, stop trying to fight it, Esther. Stop trying to fight your warm tones. Um, anyway, my next video is going to be a cool toned video, but I'm going to wear a wig because I've actually already... Let me show you guys my Instagram. So I've already worn like the wig, but I can do blue eyeshadow with it, which is amazing because I can never wear blue eyeshadow with my like regular hair. So it it should be nice, you know, it's a nice change in my opinion, you know, that I can um, use all these different colors now because I just didn't think about the fact that I could even wear a wig like it wasn't in my brain before. Oh god. Do you ever just send like a message or messages and you just like instantly regret like talking about anything? That's me. I'm always like opening my mouth because I think we live in a world where you can communicate with someone, but you can't. <clears throat> you can't communicate with people. You can't. Not anymore. These are not the days to communicate. People cannot communicate. Like this is, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, people can't communicate. They can't seem to understand languages. Anyway, I can't find chickadee, so I'm going to use sour lemon. So, and sour lemon's like a green yellow. Oh wow. I just don't want to see this message. I kind of want chickadee. I'm, uh, because sour lemon's a little too yellow for me. And chickadee's like right there. You know, it's like in that amazing spot. So, if I could just find it. I'm gonna look. Oh. It's a little around. Chickadee. So, chickadee, we're going to slap that in the eye. Um, so, just on the inner and outer corner. Basically, just in the crease. Because, honestly, this crown is going to cover a majority of my eyelid space. And it's not even, you're not even going to be able to tell, really, that I didn't put any color on my lid. Because we are going to use concealer to carve out this crown. So, it's going to be, like, weird if... I just like put shadow on to carve it out. Anyway, where's my big brush? You know, these looks I feel like need to be just easier in life because nobody has the time to sit there. Well, I guess I do. I have the time to sit here and just play with makeup because that's what I do. I'm gonna read this message real quick. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't as, I yeah, whatever. Two points, two points. Um, I'm going to use this angled brush because the last time I did this, I just used the applicator, this thing right here, this little, to make the lines. But I think maybe using, utilizing my tools, the tools that I have would be a better idea because guess what? I have the brush, might as well use it. Don't you just hate that when your brushes are dirty? I honestly like try to wash my brushes at least once a week, but I don't really get around to it. I'm kind of a dirty ass bitch. Like, I, I just really never like get to it. Like that, that um, makeup wipe I just threw, it's gonna be there forever on my bed. But um, okay. This is where the, the real like technique comes in, I guess. Let me zoom y'all in. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we're gonna make a line straight in the middle of your eye. You know, that's not too hard. I'm actually gonna use this just because this is sharper. But um, I'm dipping it into my matte concealer. Just kinda like on the edges. And then I'm going to make two lines on the sides. Line there. And then we're going to make two more lines from those lines. Okay. 
if I could. Okay, bam. So now that we've got these lines going on, you can see, um, I'm just going to make that one line a little higher and a little thinner because it was kind of fat. I'm going to connect these lines, or not connect them, I'm just going to like get it in the corner and go down and then the corner and go down and just do that basically with all of them except for the outer ones the outer ones like this one is just gonna go from here down and this one is just gonna go from here down you feel okay and I didn't watch any videos on how people do this I just figured that this made the most sense I guess and just started <laughs> I really just saw a picture and I was like I want to do that so I'm going to start doing that and then I just started doing it so please don't judge me now that we've got this little crown situation going on I'm going to fill it in like things that look crooked to you or I'm really not a perfectionist so I'm gonna leave mine like that because uh, I just don't feel like anyone's really gonna see it and be like oh my god that's ridiculously like crooked but anyway a little crown on your eye um, the last time I used pink and I used Jeffree Star skin frost I am once again gonna use this skin frost you can use any gold shadow I'm not going to use like gold glitter all over my eyelid because that's going to be horrible to take off. Anyway, this is Skin Frost, so I'm just going to place that all over. So now that I've got the, this, if I could speak. Um, now that I've got this gold situation going on, I'm going to use a liquid lipstick. I'm going to use a red liquid lipstick. You can use any liquid lipstick you would like. And I'm just going to use this eyeliner P27 brush from Miss SL, um, Miss Glam, whatever her name is. And I'm just going to put like a dot. If that would be a dot if my makeup brushes would cooperate with me and just put a dot that would be great so I'm gonna put the dot at the end of each of these little pieces <laughs> Now that I've got the little dot, I'm going to get some more of this red and I'm going to make a line across the bottom. My little crown. It's pretty cute. Okay, so now this is a little more, I guess, tedious. I'm going to dip that in some red glitter, dark red glitter. I'm also going to, I'm just going to use a piece of tape and you put the sticky side like facing the other way and I'm going to put this like where my eyelashes are just so I don't get any glitter fallout like in my eyelashes and stuff. My eyelash glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make little dots where my dots are already at, little red dots. Now with this same brush, I'm just going to dip that 
back into my glitter and make those little dots. So now that I've got my little crown on that eye, I'm just going to do that on this eye and then I'll be back on camera because then we're going to do what I like to call glitter tears. Now that I've got this, um, both crowns on and they're to my likings for the most part, I am going to use the same P27 brush and I'm going to use Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick and Pussy Whip. And basically, I'm just going to line my bottom lash line with this. I'm just going to make some tears. And I know what you're thinking, why in the world would you wear tears on your face? But I've gone out twice. Yeah, this is my third day going out with tears on my face. So, people do it, okay? So... I'm going to do one in the front, and this one's going to stay relatively small. Right. You probably can't see it because my camera light is super, super intense. Let's do the next one. This one's going to be a little bigger. You kind of just have to follow like where you think your tear would drop if you were actually crying. So I just kind of let the brush like move itself wherever it wants to go. So if it wants to like move to the left, I'll let it move to the left because that's where my brush wants to go. Alright, and then I'll do the other side. But I think they're fine. So now I'm gonna get some gold glitter. Where is my gold? Can you find my gold? Okay. So, I'm gonna use the gold glitter. This is from NYX, I'm sure. I've used it in a tutorial. And I'm gonna use the same brush. And basically go over my quote-unquote tears. Okay. So see now it's like more reflective and gold. Um, just be very careful when using glitter around your eyes. You want to use eye safe glitter, glitter that's not going to cut the inside of your, your eyelids and make you blind. I mean that's just common knowledge I guess. Okay. So I'm going to use this lipstick just because it's dramatic and we all know I'm dramatic so. It's also one of my like newest favorite lipsticks. Anyway, so now you're just gonna curry lashes, pop on some mascara, pop on some lashes. I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. So I just put on some lashes, um, and they have like they're the lashes that have little spaces in between just because I want to be able to show up my little crowns or whatever. Uh, and some mascara if you use glitter. Fair warning, it's going to be everywhere. It is all over my hands. You probably can't see it. And my clothes, so I'm going to have to change. But this is, yeah, this is the finished look. Um, maybe if I lower my brightness, you can see. I have like a little drizzle. <laughs> a little drizzle. A little drizzle. A little glazed donut drizzle <laughs> under my eyes. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I hope all of you guys enjoy being with your significant other or being single as a Pringle, whichever one it is. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs it all the way up. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, share my video. Do what you want. You know, do what you want. Whatever it is that you want to do, you do. Okay? Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.